You cannot hang out with these people. You cannot be at the NBA draft, getting seats and booths all the way at the front, doing all kinds of things, and expect these people to do right by you. They come here and give us a bucket of chicken, free tickets to our kids to go play at the top. But we don't want any free tickets. We should throw all the tickets away. That's what we should start doing. When they give us tickets, we should come down here and burn them in front of the Prudential Arena and say, we don't want the tickets, we want our money. How about that? A person comes into your house, takes over your kitchen, and offers to give you some dessert. We don't want the damn dessert. We want the main course. It's our kitchen, damn it. We want the food that everybody else is getting. We don't want no dessert. We don't want no crumbs and no leftovers. They come to our school to give us a nerve, the nerve to give us the tickets way up at the top. All our kids all the way up at the top clapping for a, a next game. And all of their people down in the front, millionaires making money. And we walk around with our head between our, our, our hands out, our hand in our hat and our hand begging. And we shouldn't be begging anything. If anything, we one day the mayor should say, no police officers are working downtown until you pay us our money. No sanitation workers are working downtown until you pay us our money. And then we have to have the discipline from the police officers and the discipline from the sanitation workers to say I'm not going to have overtime today until they pay so my brothers could get back to work. So my sisters could get back to work. Then we have to have that type of discipline. But the kind of greed and selfishness that they have spread amongst all of us, all of us, has forced, has forced us to be in the situation that we're in today. So I don't want to take up all the time, but a, a month, a month from now, a, a month from now, we should pledge to be out here again. Because victory, victory belongs to those who are committed the longest. That's right. It's not just the commitment, it's how long you're going to be committed. Because they put things in a way to, to, to make you falter on your commitment, make you weak. You know, they do a little things, they try to, you know, kill our morale. But you have to stay committed. It's protracted and taking longer. So we need to do it again in a month and tell and, and pledge to bring 10 more people. And if you